We know from several regist uh, reg registry studies in Denmark that patients with CLL, we actually have a very good treat from, treatment for them today. So we have shown comparing patients diagnosed with CLL to matched healthy controls that we over years, over the last three decades, significantly improved the overall survival for these patients. So that's very good. But we looked at the cause of death for these patients at the same time in the same study, and we saw that even though we could lower the number of patients dying from the CLL itself, or from other malignancies or for cardiac reasons, we did not change the number of patients dying from infection. So over the years, the rate of infectiously related deaths was the same. So we believe this is an unmet need in terms of newly diagnosed patients with CLL, that they have an immune dysfunction. We know that CLL cells interact with the microenvironment. We have some data from translational studies pointing towards disrupting this microenvironment CLL interaction and the pseudo-exhaustion of the microenvironment by some of the novel targeted agents. And what we wanted now was to assess whether we could actually identify these patients with immune dysfunction up front. We know that half of our patients with CLL will never need treatment, will never have an event. But we also saw that more than 25% of the patients diagnosed with CLL would actually have a severe infection identified by having a blood culture drawn, so as a proxy for a severe infection causing inpatient treatment with IV antibiotics. And what we set out to do was actually to identify these patients by a machine learning algorithm. So in Denmark, we have a very nice registry of more than 4,000 patients diagnosed with CLL since 2008. And we have collected also on registry base all the blood work for some of the patients also from general practitioners prior to diagnosis and for most of the patients from time after diagnosis onward. All the baseline characteristics done in a routine workup for CLL but including IGHV, mutational status and FISH. And then we have all the data from our microbiology uh, database and we combine this into a machine learning algorithm with more than 1800 variables entered initially and then we select the variables that actually impact the outcome. And we're presenting tomorrow these data that we can actually, based on this machine learning algorithm, identify patients who have a higher than 70% risk of a severe infection or early treatment start from time of diagnosis. And we want to use this algorithm to design a clinical trial, randomizing these patients between early preemptive treatment and observation. Because we want to change the natural history of CLL and we want to change the immune dysfunction in these patients. We could obviously also go for prophylactic antibiotic or we could do, go for IVIG supplementation. But we believe that we, we can actually disrupt the disease itself and change this immune dysfunction up front that would be much better perspective for our patients. So that's why we set out to do this machine learning algorithm in collaboration with Danish Technical University.